Good morning once again. Uh, once again, I want to welcome you all to our Wednesday webinar uh, for Boundary Systems. My name is Michael Wimberly, and I'll be presenting uh, Managing User Tasks in Windchill 11. All right, so once again, the objectives of this is to simply go through and uh, discuss how we can manage the different tasks that show up inside of our uh, on our home page inside of Windchill 11. So with that, uh, the agenda itself is, of course, general introduction of myself as well as Boundary Systems, a general overview of the topic, and then, of course, the demonstration, which is the main piece of it, and then any uh, questions uh, that we have towards the end of that. All right, so once again, my name is Michael Wimberly. I do work for Boundary Systems, of course. Um, I am a senior technical specialist. I've been working with PTC products now for over 20 years. Uh, I am a certified uh, trainer for Creo and Windchill classes, as well as a certified implement, implementer uh, for Windchill as well. Um, we are uh, Boundary Systems, a technology leader. Uh, we have partners, which include PTC, of course, uh, Solid Thinking, eTraj, ZWCAD, and other technology companies as well that we um, partner with. Uh, we've been one of the uh, 16th fastest growing private companies in the greater Cincinnati area. And some of our capabilities that help make us a technology leader is that, of course, we deal with product lifecycle management. Um, we also deal with data management, uh, CAD design and consulting, simulation, as well as product development. Um, what you're seeing on the side, on the um, right side of the screen, is just some of the few companies that we work with, a uh, few of the companies, I should say, that we work with, but of course, not all encompassing of the companies that we work with. All right, and then once again, just some general additional awards that we've had. Um, we've been in the Inc. 5000 over the last couple of years, as well as the Weatherhead 100, which has basically been, been uh, Northeast Ohio's fastest growing companies. Um, we've been in that for the last few years as well. And then some of our major accreditations include, once again, Windchill Certified Implementer, uh, PTC Preferred Service Provider, and PTC Certified Training Partner. So not only do we do implementations, but of course, uh, PTC actually recommends us for some implementations, as well as being a certified training provider. We do training at our facility in Cleveland, but we also do training in other cities as well. Um, we, I'm actually out of Cincinnati, so we actually do training in the Cincinnati area. Um, we do it in the Detroit area. We do it in Pennsylvania. So really, any of this, any of the the cities surrounding us as well as Chicago. Um, and then of course we can always bring our training um, uh, laptops to your facility and do training on site as well. So all those things are options for our training. All right, and then once again, we have some of our uh, partners that we work with. Um, we have, of course, PTC once again uh, with that channel advantage partner, uh, service advantage partner, and was, of course, uh, strategic service partner as well. Then we have Solid Thinking. Solid Thinking is a simulation type product. Uh, we know that PTC has their simulation product as well, but there may be some additional simulation capabilities that you may need. Uh, we have that for Solid Thinking. We also have eTraj. eTraj basically allows us to go in and create custom solutions that work with Creo and Windchill. Um, it's one of the things um, that we have which allows um, uh, the exporting of different files for, from out of Windchill as well to maybe create them in PDFs and things like that you can export into different directories. Uh, we also have uh, Modex 3D, which basically does plastic injection molding simulation. We also have Fluid, uh, I'm sorry, Flow EFD, which is through Mentor Graphics, um, and that is a fluid dynamic simulation. And then we also have ZWCAD, which is uh, basically an AutoCAD type software. Um, it can do basically everything that AutoCAD can do, but just at a much lower price. All right. And then just general information. Once again, my, my name, Michael Wimberly. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach me um, by either phone, which is 513-415-0747. Or, of course, you can always email me at mwimberly at boundarysys.com. If you have any sales-related questions, you can contact Carrie Dillon. Her number is 440-409-5898. Or, once again, cdillon at boundarysys.com.
All right, and then just once again, just a general overview. Managing user tasks. Basically, when we go into Windchill and we go into our home page, if if we're if we have promotion requests that we do, if we have change notices that we do, then we're going to go in, or we're in the approval process, or assigned a task to maybe make changes. Then we're going to go through and have tasks located inside of our my task section on our home page. What we want to be able to do is go in and be able to manipulate those. What happens when we do different things inside of there other than just simply selecting, um, you know, that we've approved it and then complete the task. There's some other things that we can do inside of there as well. And that's what we're actually going to go through and do in this demonstration. So once again, we're going to go through and do our demo now so we can go through and actually see how the software works. All right. So the first thing <clears throat> that we have is once again, when I go to my home page, um, I see that I have, you know, my workspaces, you know, I'm an administrator, so I can see other additional things. But the core area that I'm looking at right now is the my task section. Now, I've all, already gone through and created a couple of tasks through promotion requests. Uh, so what you'll see is the actual tasks themselves. Um, that are actually located, and you'll also see, of course, what my role will be for each one of those tasks. So I have um, a demo for um, uh, three different tasks that we're going to go through and manipulate as far as how those things will act, can actually be controlled. So now I'm going to go in and select on my first promotion request that we have, and then inside of here we can see uh, – how it's been set up. So at the top, we have the actual promotion request itself, and then we have any instructions that were set up. So with that, we have where it tells us, I'm going to increase this a little bit. There we go. All right. So what we have um, basically tells us, you know, you have been selected as an approver for the promotion request. <clears throat> Excuse me. Review the object display, review the promotion request, enter comments in the comments text field below, uh, click approve, reject or rework based on what you've uh, been looking at, and then also com select complete tasks to advance to the promotion request. So once again, I'm the assignee. The role that I have is the approver. The priority currently is at the highest. I don't have a deadline for this, but in my promotion request, I can go through and set up an actual deadline that I can go through and say that this needs to be approved by this particular date. And in that, um, in my, in the workflow for that promotion request, I can also go through and set up reminders. So if this promotion request is, uh, you know, has to be done, you know, by next Friday, maybe a week out, um, I can go through and set up a reminder that is like three days before it's due. And then I can also go through and set up a reminder that basically says, okay, a day after it's overdue, send another reminder. So I can go through and set all that up. Now, down here at the bottom, we can also see uh, the process status. So inside of here, I can see who else has been assigned to this. So I can see that there's a demo user that also has the role as reviewer and as approver. So when I go through and I look at the demo user, they have those tasks as well. But what you'll see now is they actually have four tasks. And because they have a reviewer role as well, um, and uh, in addition to the approval roles that they actually have. Now, currently, for this, for this task here, this is currently set up so that anyone within this promotion request can basically approve this. So it doesn't take everybody approving it. It takes one person out of this listing to go through and approve it. So what I want to go in and do is I want to go through and I want to now basically take control of this promotion request because currently it's showing up not only just in my promotion request, but as we also saw it showing up in the demo user promotion request. So what I'm going to do right now is going to take this and my actions, and I'm going to simply say I accept this promotion request. Now, because once again, in my workflow, it's set up that anyone in this role or anyone that is set to approve this can go through and approve it. When I go in and select accept, then I've basically now taken control of this. When I come back into my demo user, and I'm going to expand it so we can see 
the names. So currently, as the demo user, I can see this is the same one, the same role as the uh, approver. If I come over here and now refresh, what I will then see is that now that one has now gone away. So now that user no longer sees that promotion request because I've taken control of that promotion request. They don't have to do anything with that anymore. They do still have the one as the reviewer for that same promotion request. Uh, so they can go through as a reviewer and still look at the information that's there. But for this, they don't actually get a vote. They just simply go in and say, hey, I've gone.